In current mainstream science, a gravitational singularity has so much mass that it has collapsed due to gravity into an unimaginably small area that effectively has no area, no volume. And that's the important part here, no volume. Now let's think about gravity, where the force of gravity is equal to the gravitational constant times both the masses of the objects gravitationally attracted to one another, that number divided by the distance between the centers of the objects in question is the force of gravity between them. The important part there is that r is the distance between the centers of the objects. Now imagine that we have two singularities and amazingly they are on a perfect collision course. They will head right at one another and collide head on. The only important part of the analysis now is r. Picture the moments before collision. This isn't like a comet hitting the planet where the force of gravity will be limited because of all the junk between the centers of the objects like the core, the mantle, the crust. That's still a significant R that will be a reducing factor in the force equation. However, in a singularity the force of gravity has collapsed the object so that the center of the object is the same as the outside edge. This means that just before collision of the singularities, the distance between the object centers approaches zero, and when a denominator approaches zero, the fraction value approaches infinity. So just before impact, it would appear that the singularities are under a force of gravity that approaches infinity, which seems like enough to accelerate anything much faster than the speed of light. Now normally, this is where I tell you that something's mass becomes infinite as it nears the speed of light, so that it would take an infinite amount of force to push the object faster and faster. However, we are not talking about a spaceship we need to boost. Here, we are only looking at the force of gravity as the actor. And not only does this fact not change the R problem of infinite force before impact, but infinite mass, M, in the numerator only boosts the force accelerating the singularities. It is not an impediment to acceleration like with a spaceship. Here, infinite mass would just make it much, much easier to crush the speed of light before impact of the singularities.